After you. Oh, thank you. Hello, welcome. Oh, wow. So thank you. Yeah. Mm. I've never seen sauce of ice cream on eggplants. It's very playful. We're actually experimenting with the new flavor. Would you like to come up and give it a try? Let's go. Hello, Robin and Ben. May I introduce you to Tasha and Justin? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 We're actually experimenting today with uh, tomato flavored ice cream. I will leave them in your hands. Um, I'll be going back down to assist the customers. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Alicious. You have something for us to taste? Uh, yes, yes. This is uh, actually the end product of it. Don't so that's that. what? Um, it's before going to yeah, the soft into serve? Into the soft right? serve oh, machine. Okay, okay. So interesting. Is there something else inside? Like creamy? She's really good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I'm the chef here. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato itself probably is a bit too flat. Mm. And just to give it a more balanced taste, we added some cheese into it. Well. I put tomato together with mascarpone cheese. Suggested that and introduced that, that to my children and first thought they said, Daddy, that's pizza! Um, so at first when I heard that they were doing the tomato mascarpone flavour, I was quite shocked. I was very excited to try the new flavour. Um, and I was even shocked a little bit when he told me it's tomato and cheese. So today we're also using fresh tomatoes. Yes. Right? Why fresh tomatoes? We want to provide good quality ingredients for our customers. So using fresh is a must for us. Mm -hmm. How do you determine like what kind of tomatoes? Because I see different kinds over here. We're a little bit sick of tomatoes at the moment because we're quite... <laughs> you no, know, we are trying every single variety to find out which one can bring out the best flavour. Why do you want to do something with tomatoes in first place? Oh, because we are located right in Amokyo. So Amokyo in uh, Hokkien essentially means uh, tomato. When we Wikipedia Amokyo, right, the first few things that came out was actually rambutan and next one was tomato. Surprisingly, tomato really gave us a very lovely floral note. And since it fits Amokyo's name, we like to put it into our menu. But as a chef, you tasted this, right? What do you think needs to be improved? I don't really tell that there is a tomato flavour because initially we started with just fresh tomatoes and exactly we felt exactly what you just felt which is why we're also going to experiment with uh, adding tomato paste into it. I saw here also that you guys have the tomato in can. Canned tomatoes, it tastes better because they are cooked and processed in the country of origin. Mm. But I think what was missing also is that fresh tomato punch, right? That's right. So let's hope that this will be better than the first version. Once you cut it, right, are you going to do anything to it? Yeah, we're going to simmer it, sieve it, then we use the juice to bind with uh, the other ingredients. You know Aloysius from a long time, right? Yes, yes. 10 years. Ten, more than 10 years. What made you decide to do this business with Aloysius? Prior to that, we, we had uh, several ideas. Uh, one day he asked me want to sell ice cream, then I never think so much. I just, <laughs> okay lah, try lah. Yeah, but what's his idea? Like, why ice cream? You can sell so many other stuff, you know? I mean, I like to eat ice cream. He, he loves to eat ice cream, but he's a bit like so he can't eat too much. Ah, yeah, so uh, before we, we got to uh, open this place, we, yeah. we actually visited a few uh, ice cream shops mm. to try their ice cream. So from there, we, we got the idea to, hey, let's, let's sell ice cream. What clicked, right? And then said that, oh, this guy can be friends with this guy. Oh, actually, I was also amazed and surprised. Of <laughs> course, the first day I met him in school, he came up to me, he talked with uh, the Amor accent. Amor, Amor accent. I mean, he came to Singapore, so he, yeah. he talked to me, also he find it uh, slightly weird la, to, in the beginning. Then after that, we did our work projects together, uh, hang out together, yeah. then uh, yeah, we became close. I met Robin 10 years ago, and it was my second time relocating to Singapore. At that time, he was my very first Singaporean friend. He's a cool and easy guy, so... Uh, very nice to talk to, very nice to hang, hang out with. Okay, now the tomato is done. Mm, okay. Oh. So let's give it a taste. Yeah, wow. This has more tang to it. But it's so different. Mm, mm. So that one has a bit more uh, vegetable flavour. Mm. This one has a bit more sweet, more sugary flavour. And it just, right? the flavour bursts in your mouth. Can we try this as well? You sure you want to try this? I've never tried tomato that's, paste before. That's Why? pretty intense. Lit. Strong. Yeah. What's so much? <laughs> Just a little bit! <laughs> I don't think we should use it in ice cream though. It's too much. I think it will overpower the cheese. 
She's right. absolutely right. I think so. So I think that's going to be a little bit of that, just for the intensity. Mm. Majority of the flavors will probably use the canned tomatoes because they're mm. more acceptable. Yeah. Might or might not put a bit of fresh tomatoes. It's just like you said for that vegetable feel. Mm. And when customer eats it, they can taste the tomato, but they can also have the knowledge. No, that it's um, or the idea that they are eating some vegetables. Mm. So maybe we're going to use this too. Yes, that's right. Uh, but this is just to help bind the heavy body flavors of tomato and cheese together. I think we can have a few proportions and we okay. can blend and try and see how that goes. So now we're going to blend our ice cream, right? Yes, we are. Ice cream, like we mentioned, is very precise. We've weighed out a lot of uh, the ingredients uh, beforehand. That's two, two liters, liters of milk okay. that we've. Uh, measured out. So yeah. we're going to put the tomatoes in with the milk, blend okay. it and then sieve it. So for then 2 litres, how, many, how yeah. many grams do you need? It's his recipe that he's not going to share with you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm marking out your recipe right now. <laughs> we're going to use the uh, mascarpone uh, powder. What? Oh, it's in powder? Yes. It smells like baby milk powder. How many grams? Robin knows how many grams. <gasps> you can tell me lah. You can't tell me. Oh, he really can't tell me. <laughs> you know, if you're not telling me, I still can see, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> are we going to blend it so now? We're blend. Yes, we are. Now is our collective effort. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Where's your faith? <laughs> <laughs> we have you, you know, to I, guide I, us. So if it goes wrong, it's also funny. I yeah, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'll tell you, this is the balance I'm looking for. Yeah. Right? This is a perfect balance uh, of what? We got it. You all agree? Yes, yes. we got it. Can we, can we freeze this and try it? Yes, yes. Okay, we need we need our one. Yeah, we need one. Where is it? Lloyd! Lloyd! Yeah, yeah. experiment. And you know what, I think we got it. We've got a good balance between acidity and creaminess, and I think it's something that you're looking for. I hope so, then let's give it a try. So, uh, boss, please freeze this, then we see how. Ah, okay, our ice cream is here. Yay. Welcome back. Hey. 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 Ice cream, so let's give it a try. Okay, colour looks good. Yeah. Let's see how it tastes. For you. Thank you. Oh, you need? Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! That is it. Wow! It's yeah, so it's really good. Fast. Tangy, creamy, right balance. Got yeah. the floral notes as well, and the vegetable notes as well. I can't stop eating. Mm. The final result, I feel it's it's gonna be loved by many people. So I think the perfect ice cream for me is I think consideration three things, you know the fat content, the sweetness, and also the first part of the taste. The first part of the taste, of course, is tomato. And then the next part is when you fully enjoy the ice cream, which is the cheesiness. So I think I really like this one because at first, I have the pop of that, the tomato, and then it follows through with the cheese. Mm. Mm. This is very good. Mm. This is very good. Yeah. Robin, this is exactly yeah. what we want. Yeah. 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 It's like... All right. <laughs> good job, Robin. <laughs> and me, and me. And just you too. I would say it tastes um, smooth, which is a great thing. Uh, you taste first, it has multiple notes where you can t both taste the cheese as well as the tomato. At the end, it turned out uh, very, very good. So, uh, I hope the public would change their perception of what they think of the tomato flavour. You know, Tasha, we have spent so much time here. Two episodes yeah. worth. <laughs> you know, we came down here and then we tried the food. We even made a new ice cream, right? Oh, what's the name of the ice cream? We're going to launch it as Amo Kill the Lights. Amokyo okay, Delight, wow. I like the name, I like yeah, the name. Yeah, it's very catchy actually. Mm, I feel very proud that we are part of this. Thank you, Amashas, thank you, Robin. Thank, thank you, Ben, you. Thank you. for inviting us down to AM PM Cafe. For those of you who are watching, you can try our new Amokyo Delight. Delight. <laughs> and if you don't like the idea of eating a tomato ice cream, and you want the traditional flavours, they still got it, right? They got your blue vanilla, we've got the oh, grey, gray, chocolate, and also caramel. salted caramel. Yeah. And more ice creams to come, right? More flavours. So, don't worry, if you missed out a few, you can always keep coming back. You're going to find something new each time you come. So catch you on View Singapore. And see you on Restaurant Secrets. Bye! Bye.